Hello lords and ladies of YouTube and welcome back to Nightly Gaming's Nightly Gaming and another episode of Hearthstone. So today we're playing the new tavern brawl called Encounter at the Crossroads. Um, it says Encounter at the Crossroads, pick a class, let's see what's in your deck this time. So my guess is I pick a class and get assigned a random deck based on that. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and go with Druids because Druids are just kind of a safe all around deck I have found. Um, good strong base cards, things like that. So, we'll just go ahead and see how this goes, I guess. Um, I don't tend to like these completely random uh, tavern balls as much. Um, but I, I, I still am okay with them, so we'll see how this one goes. I tend to like the ones that have a bit more strategy involved. Um, but I guess we'll just see how it goes. I must protect uh, Okay. Bunch of four costs. I'm gonna put those two back and keep keep for the grove because I don't know what's in this deck. Is this like an all late game deck? <laughs> um. Okay. Job done. Oh boy. Um. I don't feel like this is gonna go very well for me. <laughs> A second chance. Oh boy. I don't think this is gonna go well for me. Oh, no. Okay. The question is, is do I do I hit the fallen hero and then kill it next turn? Because I have no turn three follow up. Or do I just try to wait till turn four where I can? For the wild. God. Oh, this is not off to a good start. Oh. Okay. Um. Oh man. Okay. Swipes almost. For the wild. So then I just kill it next turn with Keeper of the Grove. I might have messed up with picking Druid. Because apparently the Druid decks just give you super high cost cards. Now with that said, it's supposed to be random, I think. So there's potential other things to get through the Druid. <coughs> Ugh. Pardon me. Okay. That would have been nice last turn. Maybe. I must save so we're definitely going to do two damage on him. Get rid of that. Uh, we're not off to the best, best of starts, but you know we're finally starting to establish board control. And if he doesn't have any big minions, that could be good for me, because all he's done so far is hero powered with the fallen hero. So he doesn't have too much to spam out at the very least. I don't know what he has in his hand though. Probably just indirect board clear or something. Okay. So there's that. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay. So I have five mana so we're gonna go ahead and on the stealth and I drop you down. Let's course. get some extra mana. I don't care if he has extra mana, I need to get up to that. Iron Bark Protector here quickly. Got my big Papa Groot, as I like to call him. I put up my big Papa Groot. Big Papa Groot ends games. You know, uh, Living Roots is you know some of little baby Groots. And that's Big Papa Groot. Don't mess with Big Papa Groot. Hmm. All right. So, I'm cold. That's mildly annoying. You don't count as a... Nope, okay. You know, I'm just gonna go ahead and summon him. I don't actually see a whole lot of point of holding on to him for very long. Let's draw some attention out from him. And if he doesn't give any attention to it, then I get to do 8 damage to face. So that would be nice. Next turn I get Papa Groot out. Big ol' Papa Groot, and after that I can crack him. 
So, despite the terrible start to this, I'm what doing okay. Do? What to do? But really, what I gotta do, the reason I summoned him is I just need to keep the momentum going forward. Uh, that's. So, what do I wanna do here? I could swipe it, it's going to kill that, but not the end of the world. I don't really have anything else to summon. I could summon my uh, injured Gvaldir and then kill it with Gormak. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to save Papa Boot. <laughs> Well, two of my minions are dead, but I gotta do a bunch of damage. So I'm okay with that. And instead of having to trade two uh, decent minions into it, I just, you know, traded to that one ability, which also got me an extra body on the on the board, as well as, you know, I gave up two eh, minions. I've actually never gotten to use Gormak before. If you have, at least four. Yeah. I mean, it's an okay spell, I guess. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and crack it into that thing. And I'm going to put Gormak into that. Uh, hit pace. Yeah. yeah, that seems good. Now he's he's dead next turn, pretty much no matter what he does. Because I have swipe and force of nature I can combo together, so I can do a guaranteed four damage to face with swipe, another, you know, six damage, whether it's charge or no. Oh no, don't uh, yes, reconnect me, reconnect me, please don't disconnect. <laughs> Uh, the scary part's playing Hurston when you don't know when you're going to disconnect randomly from a match. Okay, rolling torch. Okay. Okay, you got a... Ah, okay. Fireball. With the hero power. And then we give him a... Well played. Well played. And then we use white face. And some of my tree ends. And then rush him. Cool. And that's how it's done. Yeah. Alright. Alright. So, I mean, it seems like an interesting, uh, interesting deck. Or not, not deck, Tavern Brawl. Where you get kind of assigned a random deck and you have to learn the, kind of guess what the build of the deck is and kind of work around that um, and strategize. So, I mean, it's, it's interesting. I wouldn't say it's my favorite Tavern Brawl ever, it's not super exciting in any way, but it's also, you know, not the worst ever, it's not as irritating or random as some of them. Um, so yeah, no, I, 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 I kind of enjoyed the Tavern Brawl. Um, yeah, I give it a big meh, you know, not, not great, not, not terrible. But, I mean, let me know what you guys think of the Tavern Brawl down below, and if there's any classes that you think are particularly fun to play because of the random uh, decks that you get generated. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Always love to hear from you guys. Otherwise, if you enjoyed the video, click the like button. If you want to see any of my previous videos, including my other Hearthstone videos, you can check out my channel. And if you want to be notified whenever I put out new videos, including Hearthstone, which I do every Tuesday and Wednesday, then you can always click that nice red subscribe button and be notified whenever I post new videos. Um, subscribing is always appreciated. Uh, otherwise, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye.